Welcome to the channel of the beast. Today I'm reviewing Fun Time and the Witch. Maybe this fucker's considered a New England folktale, but to my ass, it felt more like an endless nightmare. The one where I watch showgirls on repeat. Written, starring, and directed by Michael Taylor Pritt, and stars Shondi Ray Pritt and Tracy Roberts Pritt. Fun Time follows this brother and sister team who can't seem to get ahead when Locke just keeps slapping them in the face with a floppy dildo. But all of that begins to change once they receive a letter in the mail. No, it's not publishing clearing house, but it's an invite to a fun house, Fun Time. The horror house with the most vulgar show on earth. Well, that's only because they haven't seen my fucking family during Thanksgiving time. Whoever can make it through the horror house and stay through the show without running out screaming wins 500000 and a clean pair of shorts. But once they enter the fun house, everything isn't what it seems. First time writer, director Michael Taylor Pruitt, who was only 19 at the time of production, did one hell of an amazing job. Yeah, it has its faults and it shows. With a shaky cam, characters out of frame, bad sound, at least they were totally fucking aware of it. Hell, they even added subtitles in those areas. And of course it borrowed a lot from other films of its genre. But who and what has it? And now with the bad out of the way, I can't say nothing but good things about it. The humor was immature and dark. The cast, who was mostly family, played well off each other. Hell, they weren't no Hollywood A-listers or anything. But fuck, they blew away all those straight-to-video Lionsgate films. Hell, in almost every other area as well, from cinematography, to the set dressing, to the gore. Yeah, most of the props look fucking fake. But fuck, this was a Picasso compared to the likes of Mr. Jingles and all those other Lionsgate clown anal fuckers. If you're looking for a good clown movie, besides A Hundred Tears and Doll Boy, then this right here is for you. Just think. Take a clown sperm and mix that fucker with Jigsaw's DNA and what you get is the afterbirth known as Fun Time. I get Fun Time four rubber nose wearing cadavers out of five. Written and directed by Robert Eggers and starring Anya Taylor-Joy, Ralph Ensign, and Kate Dickey. New England, 1630. William and Kathleen lead a devoted Christian life. Cause look, the only other thing to turn to besides Christianity back then was masturbating. But who wants to be known as the town wanker? Homesteading on the edge of an impassable wilderness with five rotten little children, hasn't he ever thought of pulling out? When their newborn son mysteriously vanishes and their crops fell, cause look, he's no Martha Stewart. The Dog Dick family begins to turn on one another just like the person in the elevator who farted. First off, I start by asking, did you have a hard time keeping up with what was said? They could have at least took the goat's dick out of their mouths. Fuck, I know this is considered a period piece and not of the bloody kind, but this Bible language is dead. I don't speak Bible. Hell, I can barely speak English. This sounded more like a foreign film. I heard somewhere that the director studied the occult and witchcraft years before making this goat shit, but all his studies provided was how to bore the shit out of people. Was it good? Yeah. But was it great? Hell no! It's like having a really bad toothache. You're happy as hell to have it pulled, but fuck was the process painful. Watching two snails fucking would have went by quicker than this conga line in a nursing home. But I did dig the fuck out of the cinematography. It was dark, gloomy, and very atmospheric. But that just wasn't enough to keep me from wanting to cleanse my colon on this fuck. I give the witch two crow breastfeeding cadavers out of five. I'd rather have a goat ram his horse straight up my ass while a witch dust a crow right down my throat, leaving it to find its own way out, seeing that my asshole is blocked, leaving it to only gnaw its way out of my stomach, than ever watching this diarrhea blowing, anal fisting, witch's cunt ever again. If you 
seen any of these movies, leave your thoughts down below in the description. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it, do all that other good stuff. If you haven't already subscribed to The Beast, then please do so. And with that being said, keep it whore.